how are you? It's a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, glad to have you join us. Come into the comments, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. I will um, pop in later on in the evening when I'm done for the day and give you a proper welcome. This is Leo. Um, yeah, he's like the channel mascot. <laughs> a little rambunctious, so you may see him tearing around the house. Uh, this is his bewitching hour. <laughs> so, what can I do? Uh, I can only love him. All right, this is Whispers of Love Oracle. Let's see what your message is to activate the reading. Card seven, love the numerology. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Oh, beautiful, love the graphic. Um, it's just a perfect message, Libra, for my Venus ruled Librans. Yes, everything is so beautiful in this graphic. It's all the details, it's very hard to see. I'll bring it in just a little closer you can get a screenshot and maybe you can look at it just such a perfect message the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love <clears throat> I have um, a lot of Libra in my chart so I'm gonna take that for myself as well oh. Let's go. I'm going to pull the spread, give you my general impressions, and we'll go back through with the clarifiers. Okay. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, do keep in mind it is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you are interested in a private reading, there is a link in the description box in every video that I do. That will take you to the booking page. Ooh, we're opening up with um, King of Cups. So definitely someone who may be the keeper of your heart. What's crossing you here? We have double energy of Scorpio coming through. The challenge for you is um, either with something that has to sort of be released or maybe some challenges with regard to growth, change, and transformation within your connection. Yeah, it's been... <laughs> like um, a long struggle here uh, with that nine of wands. Yes, and in the past with the chariot, chariot talks about progress, right? Things moving forward on that pursuit of victory and triumph um, in your conscious awareness. Things may be feeling very stagnant, no movement. And in the near future with the seven of pentacles, We've got that theme of patience, things unfolding very slowly, very gradually, very organically, something you've been waiting for maybe for a very long time. Okay, so we see what you're dealing with. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. Is this something we can work through? Are we... Are we going to have the payoff here or should I just cut my losses is almost what I'm seeing here. Um, and so let me see if I can get a grip on all these cards, teeny tiny hands. I wish I was one of those readers that had the gift of those long fingers. I do not have that. <laughs> I'm 4'11". Um, yeah, so if you think of the the death card as what's crossing you in this moment. That's presenting the challenge in the Eight of Pentacles. You know, if we can work on it and we're gonna have this happily ever after, great, that's one thing. But if there's no path towards something uh, that will bring in some growth, change, and transformation, then maybe it's best I keep moving on my path, moving forward on my path, right? Maybe it's time to um, 
leave this behind is almost how it's coming through because I'm seeing in your unconscious awareness the exhaustion of it, the struggle of it. Um, very similar to the theme of a lot of other readings that have come through in this series. Many people coming to terms um, with this kind of an important decision. Right, because if you're manifesting something coming towards you, if you're manifesting this sort of offer from the heart, some kind of um, beautiful, emotional, vulnerable experience, then it's worth the wait, correct? Um, and I'm feeling your divine feminine energy, and that's why you're sort of persevering against all odds. Um, and so that's what I'm seeing as something that has been keeping you in this, in this um, pursuit, pursuit, the chariot. Uh, but if things are really sort of drawing to a standstill here, in your conscious awareness, you're aware of it now, um, it's almost like you're getting to that moment of, do I stay or do I go? Is this something that's workable? Chariot, right, the overcoming, the resistance, feeling sort of one minute in the fight, one minute, oh, I'm out, I'm tapping out. Um, the overcoming, the more perseverance, the seven of wands. I don't know if that's your person's resistance and maybe some defensiveness or you staying in the fight and taking a stand for what you want and not ready to really throw, you know, to not re ready to throw in the towel or leave it behind or release it all. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like the struggle has been to get things to move forward, to make progress in this connection, to work out differences. For some of you, it will be that. Um, to overcome obstacles and challenges. For some of you, it will be that. <clears throat> Hanged man in your present conscious awareness. There is this it wouldn't take very much is what's coming through right with the hanged man here based on everything else that's come through I'm feeling the stagnation I'm feeling that things are just on hold and even though that hold may be temporary because we all have free will so you can opt out of this in any moment and that breaks the stagnation at least on your end um, it wouldn't take very much it would take just a simple check-in a simple positive message um, something at a very basic level that seems optimistic for you to kind of get out of this uh, torture chamber of you know those thoughts that sort of keep you bound in this situation so whatever has you on hold is Partly this, you know, coming from a connection that hasn't really changed, um, where nobody's made that move, but also what's happening in your own thought processes, right? Your own self-doubts, your own second-guessing, your own self-limiting beliefs, your own inability to determine what your next best step is. Do I stay or do I go? Can we work this out or do I just kind of keep on moving on my own path? And so it really wouldn't take much. Now that I phrase it that way, you can see like, yeah, like it really wouldn't take much. Pages are messengers. So a simple message, something optimistic would bring a whole lot of, oh, well, sure. Yeah, I can meet you on the middle, in the middle on that. That six of wands is also a victory card. It's also triumphant. It's also where we kind of negotiate or compromise or build a bridge to some kind of understanding that at least allows us to say, okay, on this we agree and from there we can move forward. Um, and that's sort of 
what you're coming at from a conscious perspective, um, from your conscious awareness. The Seven of Pentacles in the near future. But it seems to me that with this Time will tell, things unfolding organically, all the patience. We run some risks here, right? That we're really not dealing with the conflict head on. So as, as time stands still, as nothing's getting resolved, we're just putting off the inevitable. Does that make sense? The inevitable that we're just delaying the conflict. And the hermit is sort of the wisdom in all of this. The wisdom that's trying to shine the light on the fact that this is a heavy burden that's weighing you down and it's weighing you down now or it's weighing you down later. There's something here that's, I'm not seeing any of the typical avoidance cards that I would normally see, but I'm feeling this is a kind of a game of cat and mouse. And, and maybe there is some wisdom in being patient and waiting for just that simple word that might start moving things forward. And there is some wisdom in, well, you know, are you just delaying the inevitable? And that once something does move, we're right back into the conflict. Is there some wisdom in that? And that that's just something that's just too much to bear and to put off the inevitable isn't really saving you anything. It's not saving you any grief. It's not saving you any struggle. It's not saving you any decision. So... It's interesting. It's kind of coming through, not as what I'm seeing what will happen, more as it's coming through as um, an option to consider. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, um, before I give you the astrology here, I am going to go into the extended to look at this connection. What's working for it? What's working for you in this connection? What's working against you? I've got a good overview here, but if this is like something that's resonating for you, we're going to take it deeper. I'm going to get a message to you from this person, something they want you to know, um, what they're picking up from you vibrationally at 5D. Uh, I'll get you the last part of this Celtic cross, so guidance from spirit, hidden energies, and how things might unfold going forward. So all that will be explored with thorough clarification and the links to that are below. I say links because there are a few different ways you can access the extended. So be sure you look at the descriptions before you buy. Um, and yeah, if this has been enlightening and if you've been enjoying my readings and you found them helpful or um, if they validated you and if you've enjoyed my style and you have not yet already, please do subscribe below. That's how I get to stay here on this platform and do what I have been called to do. So I thank you in advance. I wait to the end to ask for that because I want to earn the subscription. And so my thanks for your support, for your kindnesses, and for um, giving me a place to serve. I really do appreciate it. That comes from my heart. So here we go. King of Cups, as I said, Scorpio energy, as is the Death card. We have um, the Knight of Cups is Pisces, Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra, and uh, we have Mercury here in the Magician, which is Virgo and Gemini. He's about to station direct. He's been retrograde for a, a, a while. He'll station direct on the 28th of August. That's coming up. Chariot, Cancerian energy. We have strength card is Leo and uh, more Scorpio in the death card again. Hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
and then some Virgo energy in the Hermit. And we are in Virgo season. Yes, we are. So I love your Oracle message. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. So if you're feeling like all of this was speaking to you and like, well, what do I do? Yeah, damn that Hermit is right. <laughs> I'll <laughs> shift your focus back to love and I'm headed to the extended now. Maybe we'll get some more insights there. I'll see you there in a second. Okay, bye for now.